One of the best quotes I've heard about ideation is, ideas are like maps. You have to explore them by foot to see what they are really like. In this video, we are going to give you 10 techniques to help you have more and better ideas to fuel your next project. Ideation develops ideas and solutions through various techniques, such as brainstorming, planning, mapping, and imagining scenarios. In the design thinking process, ideation is known as the third stage. Although many people might understand what creativity is when it happens, they might be unaware of its techniques. This is why today we are going to look at the 10 best ideation techniques that an individual or a team can carry out to give rise to a new and improved idea for a problem. Firstly, thanks to everyone who has signed up to our Patreon. We greatly appreciate it and thanks for your amazing ideas for ways to grow the channel. If you're interested in joining a food trend focused community, check out our Patreon. Link is in the bio. Mind mapping. Starting, we have a mind map, a diagrammatic tool designed to help you record and bind together ideas that help you recall and link concepts faster. It is called a mind map because it is laid out to help you remember how one idea is connected to another and how combined ideas give rise to something even better. Several mind map templates can be used to make designing one easier. When you have all the ideas laid out in front of you, many of them begin linking with each other well. The 635 method. For the 635 method, the first thing that you need to gather is six people. In this collaboration, six people suggest three ideas, each of which spans five iterations, hence the method is called 635. The main goal here is to generate as many concepts as possible for a single problem. However, Every idea doesn't need to be detailed because if every idea turns out to be that way, it will bring about time constraints. This method focuses more on quantity than quality, but with several ideas, there is a good chance that even one out of all those ideas might genuinely work. Brainstorming. Brainstorming is the idea of combining problem solving techniques with creative thinking. Here creative thinking can also be replaced by lateral thinking which is thinking that does not follow the route of logic. The goal of brainstorming is to provide a secure place for team members where they have no rules and can come up with the craziest possible ideas. There is no limit to a person's imagination in brainstorming, which is why it is one of the most loved methods among individuals. This ideation technique transforms ideas into practical solutions, giving rise to ingenious ideas. Round Robin in this technique, each person will write down a solution to a particular problem and then pass their idea to the person on their left. The person will then review that idea and make changes to it while presenting its problems and solutions as the situation proceeds. Once each problem has been passed to the person on the left, the person will then list why a particular solution might end up failing. The concept and the challenges will then be presented and as a group, they will devise ways to prevent the solutions from failing. The goal here is to use thinking capacity of each team member and bring about improvements in their thought process by sharing ideas. It brings out feedback on something that's already been worked on as well as fresher perspectives. Storyboarding. Storyboarding is the ideation technique that helps you create a narrative with which you get to solve an issue, hence why it has the word story in it. When one person tells the story to another, they can dig deeper into it. The listener does their best, whereas the teller focuses on the story they've told to ensure that they haven't missed out on any essential details. The most crucial aspect to know here is that everyone absorbs information differently and their power of perception is also different. As the entire story is laid out to team members, they can assist in knowing what might be the missing puzzle in the story or this case, the solution to a problem. Prototyping. A prototype can be known as a placebo solution because whenever we hear the word prototype, it is the unfinished solution to a problem. Prototypes help keep things visible, which is probably their most important benefit. When your team can see a raw solution that you offer, they will assist you in polishing that solution. This way, your solution will get the support it needs while getting much needed constructive feedback that can always be helpful. Your prototype depends on you. 
It could be straightforward or detailed, but as long as you have a rough idea of what you'll be working with, you will ultimately work towards the final solution. Crazy Eights. Crazy Eights is an ideation technique that is loved by many. To start, divide a piece of paper into eight sections and proceed to set an eight minute stopwatch. Next, each person will draw one concept in each square or one idea every minute until the entire canvas is filled. With every minute passing, you must proceed to the next prompt, whether you've completed the previous one or not. The process is repeated until the time comes to a close. This method allows you to work under pressure and to expand on the ideas that you already have. This brings out the occurrence of new ideas in a reasonably short span of time. If you still have something to offer after eight minutes, don't hesitate. Negative brainstorming. Negative brainstorming is also known as reverse brainstorming, which combines the methods of brainstorming and a negative approach. Negative brainstorming aims to come up with new ways of solving a problem, new ways to come out of the blue to solve a problem. This idea works because if you start from the other side of the spectrum, you can arrive at the solution more creatively. It does sound confusing, but you'll understand how it works when you try it. If anything, negative brainstorming is an entertaining procedure that might reveal flaws in a method or product. For troubleshooting, reverse brainstorming is the go-to ideation technique. Sketching. Sketching is the procedure of displaying visual elements instead of words, and the idea is to develop drawings that you can return to. A picture is different because not everyone looks at the same picture with an equal perspective. While some might be interested in the apple, others might be enchanted by the tree. Sketching is suitable for communicating your ideas right away without any hassle. If someone finds it difficult to understand words, pictures can help them understand in minutes. It allows people to prevent becoming emotionally attached to their art pieces. The method of sketching is present to remind people that coming up with new ideas is nothing but teamwork. Brainwriting. Brainwriting is brainstorming, but without screaming out loud. The team members list their ideas, which are then forwarded to every person who reads them and then add to them according to their liking. This technique reduces team stress and helps the group share ideas. Everyone might not be comfortable speaking about their thoughts out loud, so writing them down could be a much better thing to do. Besides, so many people give their best ideas when they aren't under any stress. These ideation techniques will help you and your team grow because all of these will contribute to your team development overall. When a group of people comes together with ideas, that is when they know that they can work together. And using these techniques, ideas will flow around the room. If you enjoyed this video, then check out our video on how empathy may be the unlock to your best idea yet. And if you want more of these types of videos, subscribe to the channel.